right guys today I'm gonna to be fitting um a rare indicator bulb on a four series um when I'm indicating right it's doing um a little flickering and um sometimes when even when I open the car actually it doesn't even flicker it doesn't blink so I'm gonna be showing you the process how to do that guys okay, so I've got my 382 bulbs my tool kit my torque wrench what you need to do is get up here take off this little bolt that's here you can actually pop it out with um, a, of, um, a screwdriver and you pop it out so you need to get between here there's two two or three bolts that you need to un undo okay so give me a sec and I'll show you the process so guys with these bolts twists and they'll come out guys when you get to this process you just need to give it a good rock rock it and it'll come out okay but make sure you have something to hold it because you don't want to snap the cables so hold it up And what you want to do, because it's the indicator bulb, it's the top one there I'm going to be changing. So you want to get it unclipped. So let me just get this unclipped. Now I'll show you. In a second so guys just to let you know there's actually three clips you need to unclip so there's one at the top one here one at the bottom once you unclip the, the clips it will come out like that okay as you can see so the bulbs are there for you to get to so guys to get to the bulb it's a simple push down and twist and it'll pop out like that okay so that's the old one it's a bit cloudy so I'm gonna be putting one of the new ones in see that the new one looks a bit clearer compared to the old ones and the same process you just push down and twist and it's back in place okay guys so I'm gonna test them I'm gonna show you how it looks okay so that's it without the, the actual housing on the main housing so just checking that it is working and there's nothing coming up on the dash Let me just double check so guys, I'm fitting it back on now, so the process is pretty straightforward and simple. You just get the bolts in place, and slide it back in, make sure they all click back into place. So make sure you hear the clicks guys, they should be... When you're pushing it, make sure you hear the clicks. Okay, so that's all back in place and secured. So double check that everything's secured in place. So guys, when fitting it back, make sure you can hear the clicks. Yeah. Um. And it's just a, a simple process of just sliding it back in place. Make sure, and at the back here, there's a little um, hook there. Make sure that goes in. There's a hole that should go in. in that, if you can see me focus in that hole, so make sure that goes in properly. Or else you'll have a shaky brake tail light. So get that in properly. And it's just a simple process of putting the bolts back on. Focus. So there's just two bolts that you need to take off. So you might want to tighten them with your finger first. And then do that. Do the rest of it with the torque wrench after. Alright, so it's a quick job, doesn't take that long. It's 
really. It's not like some of the other beating blobbies where you can reach it from the back. This one has to do it from the front. From from behind, sorry. So that's all back in place now. So it's just the last bit you need to stick on. You need to get the two little hooks at the bottom in these two holes that you can see there. in the holes and then get your plastic screw and pop that back in like that so that's all done so I've just tested it. it's all working good as you can see you can see both sides are working equally now all right guys so Thanks for watching this video today. I hope it was helpful to you guys who's fitting um, a rear indicator bulb in the BMW 4 Series. It's a bit tricky, but it's easy to get to and easy to be done. Thanks for watching.